Today, Hillary Clinton revealing her official economic plan. You can't solve our problems without economic growth. Growth creates jobs and prosperity, and that is the glue that binds our society together. Okay, so, Stuart, you say there's a clear choice. Hillary Clinton wants to make us more like Europe. Donald Trump wants to make us uh, grow again. That's my opinion. With, with uh, all sorts of stuff. What's the matter with Europe? What's the matter with Europe? <laughs> What's the matter with Europe for the when, folks at home? You, I you remember you're got. a refugee. <laughs> I am a refugee from European socialism. It's not a sustainable model. They're bankrupt. Many of those societies are bankrupt. They're super They've in the no rim. growth, virtually no growth, for many, many years. Their population is actually declining and it's aging. That is not a sustainable economic model. It's just not. It might sound in terms of growth and expansion. Donald Trump would lower taxes for individuals and for corporations. He would cut regulation. He would encourage domestic energy expansion and output. That's a, that's a recipe for vigorous growth growth in the economy. And look, you know what, they're in decline. What people have, have what I've heard people say they like Donald Trump's plan because he takes it from four brackets to three brackets. Everyone gets gets benefits because everyone's going to have their taxes lowered. Trump wants to cut taxes for the super rich. Well, we're not going there, my friends. I'm telling you right now, we're going to write fairer rules for the middle class and we are going to raise taxes on the middle class. <laughs> Trump wants to cut taxes for the super rich. Well, we're not going there, my friends. I'm telling you right now, we're going to write fairer rules for the middle class and we are going to raise taxes on the middle class. The purpose of the SIP is to, quote, provide accurate and comprehensive information about the income and program participation that has constantly been screamed down, that you constantly be called xenophobic, racist, Nazi, whatever. Well, it turns out that intuition, that instinct that you had, yeah, it's correct. When do we beat Mexico at the border? They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. And now they're beating us economically. They are not our friend. Black people and white people can't be unified for Trump? That's bullcrap. Trump refuses to denounce the KKK. How do you feel about the recent endorsement from David Duke? I didn't even know he endorsed me. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right. I disavow. Okay? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. In the absence of the truth, bullcrap prevails. So here come the truth jokers. Look at what's been going on. All the people are coming out the dang walking dead. You know, the people who don't pay attention to politics until the election cycle comes around. And they get so emotional. They, they get all into it and, you know, they pick their sides and they fight against each other. But in reality, they ain't getting nowhere with it. So you're falling for the little racist angle. You're fighting each other, you're ripping up the signs. And, oh yeah, let me go to this. This, this is something here. How is it that this little fake joker right here comes out and endorses Donald Trump? Now, elections are all about perception. So when you see this guy endorsing Donald Trump, you will say, oh, well Donald Trump is a racist because he's endorsing Donald Trump. But here's the thing. What is KKK? Well, the KKK was created by the Democrats. 
KKK still belongs to the Democrats. So this guy right here knows that if he comes out and throws his support behind Donald Trump, it's going to get the reaction of this. That's the only reason why he's coming out and doing that. Lyndon B. Johnson did the same thing in the 1954 election. He made an ad saying that Barry Goldwater was endorsed by the KKK. But how is he going to say that when the KKK is a democratic entity? They are the prop, and I'm talking about the KKK. The Democrats are the most racist party in history. The only party in American history to kill black people because they wanted them to vote Democrat. Lena B. Johnson said, I'll have those N-words voting Democrat for the next 200 years. When he was talking about N-words, he was talking about black people. And black people, they still vote Democrat. Neither have you I! Don't know me. You're fucking a white male! No. Today, our country has lost a true American original. My friend and mentor, Robert C. Byrd. Senator Byrd was a man of surpassing eloquence and nobility. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. I admired his tireless advocacy for his West Virginia constituents, his fierce defense of the Constitution and the traditions of the Senate, and his passion for a government that improves the lives of the people it serves. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. They mentioned that he once had a fleeting association with a Ku Klux Klan, and what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. He was a country boy from the hills and hollows of West Virginia. He was trying to get elected. As Secretary of State, I continue to rely on his advice and counsel. Robert C. Byrd led by the power of his example, and he made all of us who had the honor of serving as his colleagues better public servants and better citizens. Robert C. Byrd left such a legacy. We have given her $20,000 anonymously for her campaign fund. She is friends with Clinton. The KKK endorses Hillary Clinton. They're about the legal immigrants. She doesn't. She's acting like she does so she can get into office. She's a Democrat. The Klan has always been a Democratic organization people in the streets Hitler not remind you of that does Trump not remind you of that no explain to me how Trump is like Hitler mass deportion there isn't any uh, sensible approach except to do what we need to do simultaneously you know secure our borders with technology personnel uh, physical barriers if necessary in some places and we need to have tougher employer sanctions and we need to try to incentivize Mexico to do more if they committed transgressions of whatever kind they should be obviously deported. <laughs> Sessions went on to explain that Obama's immigration policy is killing wages, particularly for immigrants and minority groups because the flow of labor is so large, it floods the labor market and depresses wages. Of the Daily Caller, Donald Trump is going to do better with Hispanics and African Americans because he's talking about things that will really make their wages go up. I do not support gay marriage. I, I live in New York. Uh, New York is uh, a place with lots of gays, and I think it's great. I'd be sure to we mass abortion, so obey the law. Donald Trump wants to obey the laws on immigration. Donald Trump wants to obey. And basically, fuck with the one person who stands in the way of us being ruled by Donald Trump. Just before I came in here, we thought we'd do a little search in our files, and, and I do notice that a, a William Mayer uh, gave a Clinton-affiliated entity a million dollars. Uh, now, it's a, it's a William Mayer um, in L.A. where that, at the time money came, but perhaps you would like to comment, is that you? Yeah, yeah I don't think... For the KKK, Hillary Clinton is our choice.
What do you think about the mosque controversy? I think we need more mosques. Why? So we can show the world that we are not bigots. But don't you know what happens in countries where Muslims rule? I don't care. We need more hope and change. That is crazy. There are too many Christian fundamentalists trying to impose their views on us through government. What? They are trying to take over America. We need more Muslims to show the world how multicultural we are. But don't you read about what is happening in Europe because of rampant Muslim immigration? You must be a bigot. Please. Let's talk about the issues. These events are important. No. You should not be allowed to speak. You must have supported Bush. You're a hate monger. But I'm trying to have a dialogue with you about the issues. Your hate speech should be banned. But don't you know that Sharia law is being implemented in many European countries with large Muslim immigrant populations? I don't care. You're a warmonger. But in many European cities, there are now no-go zones where non-Muslims and police cannot enter. Islam is a religion of peace. We should welcome all of them. Yes, but don't you think we should carefully screen which immigrants come here from Muslim countries? No. You spread hate. I will report you for hate speech. But don't you think Muslims need to reform their religion to embrace all cultures and renounce violence among them? No, Muslim immigrants should come. We are a nation of immigrants. But aren't you aware of the human rights abuses in many Muslim countries where women don't have rights and are tortured? No. Conservative Christians oppress women's rights because they don't want women to have abortions. You must be a radical right-winger. I simply want to have a dialogue about the issues affecting the world. I'm going to call campus security and have you arrested for hate speech. No, I'm not condoning hatred towards Muslims. I'm simply addressing a global concern regarding the violence and their religion. There are many who want to destroy Israel and America. You're a fascist. <laughs>、like、you about facts and reality and trends within society, particularly when it overlaps with any kind of politics. Don't you feel like any time you want to have a sensible discussion, all of these hysterical brain parasite? Have you ever just say like, what are the problems in America? You can make a case because she can say something that's actually political. This guy don't even say that. What are the issues in America? What are the issues in America? First off, people like me are dying. The banks running everything. Anybody else want to get in on this? Okay. So know, Donald know, Trump wants to bring jobs back to America. You say jobs are an issue. Donald Trump says he wants to bring them back. I didn't say nothing about a job. How? He quit. He quit sending jobs to China. We have companies going to Mexico. What are you talking about? Are you even listening? I said people like me are dying. American companies. You want to know why everything you pick up says made in China? That's because other companies devalue their currency, and so companies can make a greater profit over. Overseas. Donald Trump wants to bring it back. Trump is capitalist. This is America. Capitalism. Capitalism is people who look like me. People like me. Didn't think so. Didn't think Let's so. Let's bring it back to black people being killed by police. Okay. What has Trump said about that?、Because、What about white people being killed by police? Fuck off. Black people. That's not racist, though. The junior senator from Alabama went on to predict that Trump can turn the economy around for those on the lowest rung of the economic ladder very quickly. 